soldier already. Enemy officer defeated! I will now commence my prayer for win. My ambitions left unfulfilled. Enemy officer defeated! My ambitions left unfulfilled. Enemy officer defeated! Defeated! We have nothing to fear from the enemy! Your skills are without equal! Ah, the wind. Now the time has come. We shall lay our hopes on this wind and have it carry them to the enemy. Fire burns with the spirit of Wu!
plan was a success. Now we shall all move to attack. Soon say, wherever you are, are you capable of seeing these flames as well? Let's go. My dream and the glory of Wu, they will be with you for all eternity. It worked. Begin the counterattack. The enemy forces! We must hurry. All the enemy forces!
use the momentum to our advantage. Go! Hit me with everything you got! You're mine! Be gone! So, my might was not enough! Enemy officer defeated! You want to face me? Very well. I could use the exercise. Defeated! I'm not dying here on this river. You are! shall pay for this. Enemy officer defeated! The villain Cao Cao and his giant fleet have sunk in the watery depths of Xiangdong. His determination to conquer the land never to resurface again. Victory is ours. The day of a land under Wu is close at hand. These waters shall serve as a battlefield. And word of our exploits here shall go down in legend. It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos, brought on by several regional lords 
vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Zhou Yu was born to a distinguished family in Jiangdong and took an interest in the literary and military arts as a boy. Being extremely handsome, he was very popular amongst the people. He met and became good friends with Sun Se when they were young. Later, when Sun Se began his campaign to conquer Jiangdong, Zhou Yu would rush to join him, becoming a valuable asset for the Sun family. Due to Sun Se's sudden death, Zhou Yu would bear the burden of leading Wu. Aiding the new emperor Sun Quan, they began to create a mighty army. However, Cao Cao had already amassed a much larger force in the Central Plains region. After defeating Yuan Shao, Cao Cao led his armies to destroy the Wu forces at Jing. Sun Quan would ally with Liu Bei to face Cao Cao, and he gave complete control to the army of Zhou Yu. Zhou Yu fought desperately against Cao Cao's powerful forces, and with the aid of Zhu Ge Liang and Pang Tong, he was able to miraculously force Cao Cao to retreat. Cao Cao will likely rise again in an attempt to take control of the land. Liu Bei, accompanied by the great strategist Zhu Ge Liang, will most likely prove to be a threat for Wu as well. However, Zhou Yu will continue fighting for the sake of his beloved friend, Sun Se. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and live on even today. Today is the dawn of a new age, right, Zhou Yu? Yes, it does, Sun Se. And the winds of this age shall lift you high into the heavens. <laughs>